the story of a slave girl. There was a slave girl who had a brother, kind and noble and young. He had scarcely any advantages, yet stealthily he would draw an old volume from his pocket and through the long night would pour over its contents. His soul thirsted for knowledge. He yearned for freedom, but free soil was far away. Scott's sister might not go. He stayed with her. They say that slaves do not feel for or love each other. I fear that there are few brothers with pale faith who would have said that to us. I have learned that success is to be measured not so much by the position that one has reached in life as by the obstacles which he has had to overcome while trying to succeed. I prefer to be true to myself, even at the hazard of incurring the ridicule of others, rather than to be false and to incur my own abhorrence. There are two ways of exerting one's strength. One is pushing down, the other is pulling up. Excellence is to do a common thing in an uncommon way. No greater injury can be done to any youth than to let him feel that because he belongs to this or that race, he will be advanced in life regardless of his own merits or efforts. A little learning, indeed, may be a dangerous thing, but the want of learning is a calamity to any people. A man's character always takes his heel, more or less from the form and color of things about. Without struggle, there can be no progress. To suppress free speech is a double wrong. It violates the rights of the hearer as well as those of the speaker. Find out just what any people will quietly submit to, and you have the exact measure of the injustice and wrong which will be imposed on them. At the bottom of education, at the bottom of politics, even at the bottom of religion, there must be for our race economic independence. Character, not circumstances, makes the man. I didn't know I was a slave until I found out I couldn't do the things I wanted to do. Associate yourself with people of good quality, but it is better to be alone than in bad company. So we must live it, with the full assurance that we will meet our award in due season. Thou, deeply submerged by the wave of popular opinion, which deems natural inferiority permanently associated with the black skin. Though, we are down by a curious prejudice that seeks every opportunity to crush us, still we labor and despair, not patiently, seasonally, Yes, yeah. David, uh, Gabriel Ewitt is about to read this. Colored people place upon themselves. For there are hundreds and thousands of white people for both sexes who I know to be the social inferiors of respectable and intelligent colored people. I can then ensure that portions of my democratic friends on the other side of the house 
whom I regard as my social peers, that if at any time I would meet any one of you at the hotel and occupy a seat at the same table with you, or the same seat in a car with you, do not think that I have thereby accepted you as my social equal. Not at all. But if anyone who if anyone should attempt to discriminate against one of you for no other reason than because you are identified with a particular race or religious sect, I will regard it as an outrage, as a violation of the principles of republicanism, and I will be in favor of protecting you in the exercise and enjoyment of your rights by suitable and appropriate legislation. So you heard our path, where we came from, where we're going. And we have good young people like this out there. Uh, we're in the right direction.